This is the snowfall forecast for the upcoming winter season. As we get closer to the winter season, our forecasting confidence slowly rises. These forecasts will be much more precise than those released in the late summer months. Without further ado, let's get started. To be able to successfully estimate the amount of snowfall, we must look at both temperature and precipitation anomalies. Both anomalies will come from my winter forecast. For the temperatures, we can expect a warmer west and colder east. With this information, don't overthink it. Areas with milder conditions just tend to see less snowfall in a given year. Many western ski resorts may be in a snowfall drought this year. On the other hand, areas with colder conditions just tend to see more snowfall. It's just how things work. There is one major implication in the forecast though. There is an area of uncertainty in the Ohio Valley and northeast areas. This could make the snowfall forecasting much more tricky as we just don't know what to expect temperature-wise from this area. For the precipitation, areas north should see drier conditions and areas south should see wetter conditions. For most areas, don't overthink it. Drier conditions mean less snowfall and above average means snowier conditions. The only questionable area is the south. The areas in the most above average precipitation do not normally receive any snowfall, but technically there is an increased chance because of the colder temperatures expected as well. But overall, I would not expect any snowfall there. As you go further north, the general temperature during winter time is colder, so you are more likely to see above average snowfall in areas like Texas, Arkansas, Tennessee, and North Carolina. I want to talk more specifically about the Northeast because I believe this area is at the highest risk. This is an area where temperatures are cold enough and expected to be cold enough this year. They are also in the above average precipitation zone. This will likely result in much above average snowfall, so be on alert in these areas. Lastly, for what you all came here for, the snowfall forecast. There is a lot of different zones, so I will not go over every single one. In general, the trend should lead to below average snowfall in the northwest and north central regions and above average snowfall in the southwest, south central, southeast, mid-Atlantic and northeast areas. This is because of a negative NAO phase that is expected this year, along with a moderate to strong El Nino. This combination has brought this type of snowfall pattern over the years, with the most notorious year being the 2009 to 2010 winter season. We can clearly point out some high impact areas looking at this map. The northwest is likely the most noticeable area because of the expansive area of much below average snowfall. Another area is the California mountains, which are expecting above average snowfall despite the warmer expectation. This is because of the constant flow of moisture and storm systems and the fact that it is cold enough at these altitudes. The final area is the northeast and mid-Atlantic. People might think that the mid-Atlantic forecast is a reach, but data from past years support this forecast. Large snowstorms tend to slam into the mid-Atlantic and northeast during these types of winters, which should finally end the snow drought that has been ongoing for years across some of these areas. The typical lake effect snow areas are also included, which has been no surprise in recent years. This year is once again looking prime for large lake effect snowfall events. Overall, this winter looks like it will be a big flip from the last few years, and some areas that haven't seen much snowfall will see quite the opposite. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something new from this video. Get ready for winter and stay safe.